this is uh, our rugby office here at Kutztown University. Uh, I'd like to just show you around a little bit. Some of the things that are on the wall here, the mementos, trophies, plaques, mean a great deal to everyone that's been involved in the program. Uh, for example, over here we have things from way back in 1989 when we first started to uh, record things. We actually started the club in 1984, I joined in 1986. Um, so we try to include everybody from back then up until the present. It's 2008 when we had a team that went out to New Mexico and finished in the top eight, elite eight of the National 15s tournament. Uh, lots to say, Mary's in a heartbreaker in the last couple minutes and didn't make the final four, but very proud of this group. Um, our sevens program has been dynamic to say the least in the last 10 or 12 years. There's a lot of sevens trophies in here mixed in with the 15s. Um, one of our proudest moments was uh, we took the team to Wales in um, 1992, I believe it was. Uh, we toured the country of Wales for about 10 days. We took 70 people to Wales, first side, second, and an alumni side. Great experience. This is a picture of the boys in Carter Farms Park back before they remodeled and changed the name. Um, also, very proud to show you these three jerseys of our Eagles that we have had in the last 10 years. Marco Bernard from um, Pretoria, South Africa, played on the U.S. Eagles 7 side for three years. Um, Nico Kruger, also from Pretoria, South Africa, played with the U.S. Eagles in the World Cup in, um, I believe it was 2015. And uh, he actually got to play scrum half for the Eagles against his home country of South Africa. A great memory and a great honor for everyone involved with the program, and especially Niku. Demonte Noble, U.S. Eagle, um, played in the Pan Am Games um, in 2019, I believe it was. Um, they came home with the bronze medal. We have something over here that's pretty important to everyone. Um, we have a lot of individual tournament titles, but this is something that we say before every game. Um, we wear hoops on our jerseys. So the first side recites this before going on to the field. Um, it kind of bestows the honor and the legacy of the, the players that have come before them. And they just simply say, blessed be the hoops for they have the power. And um, it kind of ignites all those from the past with those of the present. Um, more trophies are Golden Bear here has a funny story. Um, I had this carved, I brought it to a game years ago, I had the players come out and touch it before the game. They lost the game, they said don't ever bring it back, I never did, so it's in the trophy room, um, or in the, in the office. Um, some jerseys that have been given to me by players, um, we have a third place trophy up here from the National Sevens Tournament in 2018. Um, something I'm very proud of, the president of our university awarded me with the President's Medal several years ago. Um, we have some trophies over there from Bermuda. We, we won the tournament, the seventh tournament down there a few times. Um, and as we go on, I'd like to tell everybody that, um, you know, when, whenever we lose a rugby game, sometimes you win, but sometimes you learn. You never lose. We have some jerseys here from uh, an anniversary banquet they had that players have signed from the past. And then a lot of old plaques from back in the 90s and the 2000s. But most importantly, these are just examples of the success we've had because of the great culture that we built here at Kutztown. The culture is the, uh, the deciding factor in any rugby program. And our culture here is, de is dependent on accountability and honesty and clarity. Um, so we try to practice that every day of the week. The university is about 9,000 students at the moment. It's not too small, it's not too big. It's clean, it's, it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful campuses in the state. It's won all kinds of awards. The faculty here is very student-oriented, as um, small classes. Uh, as you progress through your academic career, the higher you become, junior, seniors, the classes get smaller. There's even more individual attention. We have all kinds of internship programs. And then when we get to rugby and our alumni, um, being here 35 years, most all the players have played for me, so the contact in the alumni um, association is, 
is very, very large. And when we have players that are looking for internships or, or jobs in certain areas, it's just a matter of picking up a phone and calling alumni and they'll help out our players. So that's really a, a, a huge plus for those of that are coming here and we're encouraging to to look for their careers primarily. Rugby is a great passion of everyone that's here, but it, you're never going to play rugby forever. So we really want to emphasize your career and your academics. As far as the rugby side of it, um, we offer pathways to all the different avenues that USA Rugby has to offer. Um, we've had players like I just have spoken about that have been Eagles and Falcons and uh, unlimited number of all Amer collegiate All-Americans, um, U-20 members, and so forth and so on. So we, I've been in coaching for a long time, so I have contacts all over the country and all over the world, and um, so I can help our young men to go down the pathways that they choose. And that's what our job is. Our job is just to help people when they come to Kutztown University. Um, so we're very proud of that, and we work really hard individually with our players and try to do everything we can to supplement their progress in humanity as well as rugby. So if you're interested in top-notch rugby at the highest level, when we do travel all over the country, um, this would be a place that you might want to consider. It's also financially feasible for most people as well as we offer rugby scholarship to those that qualify. There's also academic scholarships and other help that we can help, that we can get for our young men so they can afford to come to school here. You'll also meet people from all over the world. We have players that are international from just about every rugby country you can think of on the globe that have been here and are here, as well as players from all over America. So you're also going to make friends that you're going to have for the rest of your life all over the world and the country. So it's a great place to be. It's um, exciting, um, it's friendly, it's culturally acceptable as far as all of the things that are going on in our society today. We work very hard and strive to make sure that everyone is treated equal and that everyone has the opportunities of the others that are on campus and in our, in our rugby community. We have a rugby alumni association that's very large that I spoke of that raises money for our players so they get to travel and, and seek out all the opportunities that are available for them. So once again if you're very interested in playing in this environment, this type of environment, just contact us anytime you like kutztown.edu or you can find my phone number on the website. Thank you very much.